without memorizing it let me show k1 and k2 k3 k4 k5 and k6 k6 are this steps in the rk45 so k1 will be equals to h into your f of x and y n k2 will be equals to h into your f of x n plus h by 4 and y n plus k1 by 4 so this is this two are easy to remember from the k3 so we have to take the coefficient of h k1 k2 and again here also from the k4 we have to take the coefficient of h k1 k2 k3 then k4 k5 k6 and it, it, we can easily store this values in the calculator so let me show how so first press menu then go to the matrix so that is 4 then we have to define the matrix a so that one so the, select the number of the rows that is 3 number of the columns is also 3 we have to start from here so that is 3 by 8 3 by 8 then 3 by 32 then 9 by 32 then 12 by 13 then 19 32 divided by 2197 then minus 7200 divided by 2197 the next value is 7296 divided by 2197 so again the next value here is 1 so the next value is 439 439 divided by 216 so the matrix A is completed again to continue to store the values so we have to define the matrix B so let come again go to the matrix then or define the matrix B that is 2 so here we have stopped for the matrix uh, A then we have here from here we have to continue the matrix B that is from minus 8 so we have to enter the number of rows again 3 number of columns 3 then minus 8 the next value is 3680 divided by 513 and the next value is minus 840 divided by 845 okay divided by 4104 so the next value is 1 by 2 so that is 1 by 2. then next value is minus 8 by 27 so minus 8 by 27 where wait so the next value is so i have stopped here that is 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 next value is minus 8 by 27 minus 8 by 27 the next value is 2 the next value is minus 3 5 4 4 divided by 2565 the next value is 81859 so 1859 divided by 4104 and the next value is minus 11 by 40 so minus 11 by 40 here the matrix B is completed so again we have approximate solution values and another term so that so for to continue we have to continue next we have to define the next matrix c for that to continue the values or to continue to store the values let me show so again we have to come to the matrix then we have to define the matrix c then three so here let me start from here because i have stopped here so let me start from here so 25 divided by 
216 and the next value is 1408 divided by 1408 you can see here so divided by 2565 2565 the next value is 2197 divided by 4104 so that 2197 divided by 4104 so the next value is minus 1 by 5 so the next value is 16 by 135 16 divided by 135 and again next value is 6656 divided by 12825 and the next value is 2828561 divided by 56430 and the next two value is minus 9 by 50 so minus 9 divided by 50 and the next value is 2 divided by 55 so all these values will be stored in the matrix A and B and C. So let me show how it will be after clearing all this how it will be stored. So let me take matrix again. So 4 then we have defined matrix already. So we have already defined already we have given the 3 columns again 3. So here you can see the matrix number uh, like we have stored the values so we can see in this matrix. So it's, it is there in the decimal so that we want in the fraction so we have to press this so we will get here so again you can see that is 3 by 8 for the next value again you can press S divided by so you can get 3 by 32 this value and again for the next value 9 by 32 so again you may get 0 0.81 so 9 by 32 so the next value again here again if you do like this and you will get the values and so you can easily store the values in the calculator so no need to memorize for the again if you want to see the matrix b let me show you again you have to go to the matrix so then press 4 then uh, we have already defined no so that you have to press 2 then we have given 3 number of the columns 3 and you can see here the matrix b values that will be it is there in the decimal point you can convert into the fraction by using the s divided by d this so 3680 divided by 516 here you can see from here we have started the uh, matrix b so you can see minus 8 from the minus 8 then next value that will be in the fraction so so like this we can store the values easily in the calculator so without memorizing the formula in the rk45 thank you if you like this video please subscribe and share